is she a Jezebel? In today's coaching video, I'm going to give you four signs that the girl that you just met, the girl you're dating, the girl you approach, or the girl you're in an LTR with is a Jezebel spirit. Now, for you guys who read the Bible, you know exactly what a Jezebel is. Uh, a Jezebel is basically a an evil, vile, wicked female. Uh, she is a female character in the Bible that lived about 1800 years ago. Uh, but even though she lived that long ago, her offspring are still present with us today in modern day times. You might see this, uh, the Jezebel spirit with a lot of uh, females who claim that they're feminists, right? A lot of these girls carry that Jezebel spirit. They're just very nasty, mean-spirited, angry, hostile towards you, very loud, very boisterous, uh, very disrespectful, very angry and hateful towards men. Definitely the family unit, right? They wanna destroy the family unit. They're very angry and hateful towards God. And um, yeah, that's what a Jezebel is. So in today's coaching video, we're gonna talk about the Jezebel and four signs that the girl that you just met or cold approach or are dating is a Jezebel spirit. So the first sign that she's a Jezebel is she makes you feel lust for her. Not love, but lust. Okay, so you'll find this to be very common with girls that you might have met that all you can think about are sexual things with her, doing doing her like real dirty, real nasty, even like hate fucking her, right? Having hate sex with her. I tried to say this in a way where I'm not like curse bombing on my channel because of the YouTube filter now trying to protect my channel here. But yeah, you're having hate sex with her. Your entire thought process that revolves around her is pretty much entirely sexual, right? There's no love, there's no like, oh, I can imagine myself going on this vacation with her, or oh, we're gonna go karaoke together, or oh, we're gonna go for a drive on the country together, oh, I'm gonna take her out in my new car, or I'm gonna take her out on to the lake in my boat. No, all you're thinking about is like basically fucking her, right, and having sex with her. That's all you think about, because she makes you feel lust for her, right? She makes you feel lust for her. And a lot of these girls who do like plastic surgery, they get the fake tits, they get like the lip injections, right, and they get like the Botox, they get like the fake eyelashes and then they get like the, the, the 10 inch heels with the pumps and they get like, you know, the uh, accentuated uh, bras and everything to accentuate their, their boob job and they have their asses hanging out. Girls like that tend to be Jezebels, man. They tend to be Jezebels. They tend to have that Jezebel spirit where all they are, all they're about is their, their sexual attractiveness, right? Their physicality because they know beyond that they really have nothing else to offer. They're just kind of like, you know, shallow that way. There's nothing else. They're like a hollow, you know, they're hollow inside. There's nothing beyond what you see. That is the first sign that the girl's a Jezebel spirit is she makes you feel not love for her, right? But lust, okay? Where you are lusting after her. You're like, man, I gotta tap that ass. Oh man, I can't wait to do her here, do her there, this position, that position. You can't think of anything but sex with her, right? There's nothing beyond that because she has nothing else to offer beyond that, right? So that is the first sign. Uh, the second sign that you are with a Jezebel, a Jezebel spirit is uh, she makes you fearful of the future. Now, what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is with her, you never know what's gonna happen, okay? There's no certainty whatsoever. You just never know. She could bounce to the next guy and the next guy and the next guy. You're just not important in her life, right? Because she is all about herself. You have to understand, guys, the Jezebel spirit is a narcissist, right? Jezebels are narcissists. All they can do is look at their own reflection in the mirror. Really, all they care about is themselves. They don't care about you, they don't care about their family, they only care about themselves. And mostly what they care about themselves is how they look, right? All they care about is their physical appearance to the outside world. This is why I say most Jezebels 
don't really work on their internals. They don't work on their personality. They don't work on being better people in the world. They don't work on their, you know, becoming better human beings or anything like that. No, all they care about is working on their physical appearance. That's it, period. This is why, again, these girls get the titty implants, the lip injections, the Botox, all this plastic surgery because it's for them, it's all about sexual attraction. Okay, there's nothing beyond that, right? They're not worried about their personality or anything like that. They feel like they could just get by on their sexual attractiveness. So a lot of these girls will make you fear the future with them because really there is no future. A lot of these girls are really good at making you feel like you're the one and you're special because she chose you. She could have had all these men, but she chose you. You're the guy, right? Meanwhile, she's cheating on you. Meanwhile, she's banging someone else. Meanwhile, she has shiny object syndrome. She's looking at other guys when you're not around. She's constantly looking to replace you. And in the back of your head, you know this, right? Somewhere deep inside you, you can feel it. You could feel like you're just never really feeling secure with her, right? And the reason why is because she makes you fear the future, right? She makes you fear losing her. She makes you fear like just being able to be yourself around her because you don't want to do anything that will disappoint her. I mean, that's part of like being taken in by the Jezebel spirit. And I see a lot of weak guys, a lot of weak men without dating education, without pickup training, fall prey to these Jezebel spirits, right? They fall prey to them. Robert Greene's book, Art of Seduction, for you guys who read that, it's kind of an old school book, Art of Seduction by Robert Greene. Uh, he talked about, I think it was like either four or seven types of lovers four types of females to look out for and one of them was the siren right the siren it's just like she could just grab men's attention she's like a siren like whoa like you ever see a girl walking down the street and you're like bam right like man that chick's fine but she's not fine in a class like a classical way where she's like classy fine she's more fine in a sexual way like whoa look at that slamming body look at that ass look at those tits oh my gosh oh my goodness right and you're like lusting after her those chicks are def are generally genuinely uh generally uh jezebels right the uh, who what robert green calls the siren in his book the art of seduction so that is the second sign that you're with the jezebel spirit is she makes you feel fear of the future you just don't know what's going to happen by being with her you don't know if you're going to be together a year from now you don't know if you're going to be together a week from now right you don't know what she's going to do next you don't know if she's going to disappear and ghost you you don't know if she's just not going to respond to your texts ever again sometimes when you date these jezebels you think you're dating this girl everything's going well you know you're dating her everything's going well and then you don't hear from her for a few days right you don't know where she is she just disappears a lot of these jezebels they love to just disappear Right? And it's not necessarily like they're ghosting you. They just disappear because they want to do their own thing. They're probably off with another guy. Right? They're probably off having sex with somebody else. They're hopping in bed with somebody else. Right? You just never know. But that's the whole point of when you're with a Jezebel. You have this 24-7 fear of not knowing what's going to happen. And you know what? That sucks, man. It sucks being in a relationship like that. I've dated Jezebels, right? That sucks, man. That sucks. And, you know... I mean, we live in a karmaic universe, so eventually karma will come back around and she will feel the same from another guy. But will she learn from that? No, because she's a Jezebel. So she's just destined to be the way she is. So that is the second sign that you're dating a Jezebel is fear of the future. Third sign that you are dating a Jezebel is that you have bouts of loneliness whenever you are not with her. Okay? You feel bouts of loneliness whenever you're not with her. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is whenever she's not around you, like I was just saying a second ago about fear of the future, whenever you're not around her and she's not with you, you just don't know if you're going to see her again. It's kind of weird, right? Because you might be dating this girl. You know, you might even have it established where she's your girlfriend and she refers to you as her boyfriend. But whenever you're not with her, you just feel this like odd loneliness. Right? It's like, why are you lonely? You have a girlfriend, right? And even though she's your girlfriend and she, she's probably telling you that she loves you, you still feel lonely. She's able to make you feel loneliness. Even though she's with you, you might be spending time with her. 
right? You'll be spending time with her, and even then, you'll still feel kind of lonely, right? She might just disappear to go to the bathroom. You'll feel lonely. Like, she's only in there for like five minutes. You're like, wait, why do I feel not feel good when she's not around? You know, and that's not love that you're feeling. Like, oh my gosh, I can't live without her. She's not around. That's not love that you're feeling, son. That's the Jezebel spirit tricking you, manipulating your mind into making you feel that that's what you're feeling. But really, that's not it. Whenever you're dating a girl like this, who is what we call a Jezebel, she can make you feel that those bouts of loneliness whenever you are not with her, right? It makes you almost like crave to hear her voice, crave to just like have her in your arms and you can't really explain why, right? I mean, this could be a girl that you many times will feel like you could do better than, even like a, a little bit beneath you, but still she kind of has you by the balls, right? She kind of has you in her clutches. There's a femininity about her, right? Because a lot of these chicks tend to be fairly feminine in their ways, right? They might be like a dude as far as like sleeping around, but they tend to be fairly feminine in the way they smell, the way they do their hair, the way they do their makeup. Some of them are just like naturally pretty, might have a pretty face, right? So they look feminine, but they're Jezebels, man. They're Jezebels, they're from Satan. You know, not to get too uh, spiritual on you, but these chicks are from Satan. You know, I mean, even borderline demonic, some of them. That is the third, third sign that she's a Jezebel. Uh, the fourth sign that you're dating a Jezebel, and this kind of brings everything to a head, is that she makes you feel hopelessness, right? You just constantly feel hopelessness dating this girl. You don't feel like you have much of a future unless she is in it. You feel me? It's almost like you could see yourself like pursuing these goals, creating a path and purpose for yourself, or maybe you already have a path and purpose. Now you've let this Jezebel enter your life but in many ways you feel kind of hopeless like without her things will not work out therefore i must keep her in my life because i cannot imagine myself existing without her i cannot imagine myself breathing without her i cannot imagine my imagine myself functioning without her and you start to feel this hopelessness if you can't hang on to her if she's not part of that future and this is just something that a jezebel can make you feel a lot of these girls these days, especially with a lot of this feminist, uh, feminista brainwashing, a lot of these girls are walking around with the Jezebel spirit. And some of these girls are just Jezebel, Jezebel spirits naturally. All of the feminist indoctrination and brainwashing that's gone on in their lives has just amplified the fact that they are Jezebels. It just has amplified their type of Jezebel behavior. <laughs> right? So that's all I have to say for tonight's coaching video. Um, it's a bit woo woo, a bit crazy, but it was a coaching video I felt, I felt like I had to do because I see a lot of guys out there dating these girls, not being able to really put their finger on what's going on in their relationship when really, if they just read their Bible, they would be able to see like, oh shit, I'm dating a Jezebel. My girl's a freaking Jezebel, right? And she's embodying all of these characteristics of the Jezebel spirit. That's the thing about the Jezebel, man. You know, the closer you get to her, the more she'll curse you. The more she'll, like, pull you away from God. Now, she won't pull you closer. These girls won't pull you closer to God. They'll pull you away from God, right? They'll get you to pray to other gods, or they will get you to curse God, or instill in you non-production, the inability to produce, create, build, leave a, leave a lasting legacy for yourself, for your future, for your family. They will just cause all sorts of chaos and destruction in your life. So this is why you want to avoid the Jezebel, man. You got to be able to first spot them and then secondly, avoid them. Okay, and if you're dating one now, don't walk, run. Okay, don't walk, run. And with that said, I'm going to wrap up here. Until next time, this is M from The 33 Secrets. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it so you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. More importantly, guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Very important you subscribe. Helps me out a ton when you do. So please subscribe to my channel and also share my coaching videos with like-minded friends of yours who really need this education, this training. 
okay? This dating education and pickup training. So share my coaching videos as well as subscribing. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content that I'm teaching you guys even further, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months of Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, the same exact type of women that myself and my students are out there cold approaching and closing every single week without fail, and I kid you not, every single week without fail. These are the type of women that most of your guy friends can only dream about. Most of your guy friends will only see in magazines. Okay, I'm teaching you how to go out, find, meet, and attract these women into your life. The type of women that share your same values, beliefs, likes, dislikes, and on top of that, the icing on the cake is they are hot again. We go after the eights, nines, and tens only. I teach you how to do that in seven months to mastery. And right now, the first month is only a buck, one dollar for the entire first month of coaching lessons. Okay, I've decided to keep that deal going for a bit longer because of the high demand. So it's only a buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons. So please take advantage of it. It's the absolute best way to support my work and everything I'm teaching here on my YouTube channel. So if you wanna get signed up, it's real easy. All you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.